All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here and only. How are all my adventures doing? Hopefully y'all are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so you guys know it's no big secrets. I am a big fan of X Legend games, and I normally keep up with a lot of their games and try them out. I've already played Eden Eternal. It's still the same Eden Eternal. Um, now we have Astral Tales, which if you guys don't know, Astral Tales is literally just renamed from Twin Saga. It's literally Twin Saga. That's all I can tell you. If you guys have kept up with X-Legend long enough, it's, it's Twin Saga. But yeah, they have different servers. Apparently, pretty sure this is the Japanese server, right? See, the Chinese or Japanese server, whichever one this one is popping off. Uh, we're going to English. Oh, they don't have Berserker this time. But in this game, you are allowed to basically change your class at any time, basically like Eden Eternal. You just really just pick whatever class you want to start with. You can, like I said, you could just change at any time. Doesn't matter. I am curious to see if they changed anything. From what I remember. Uh. I think I chose Gunslinger just because it, uh. Doesn't this go to Thief? I use Thief a lot. Alright, let's make our character. Not sure how long I'm gonna be on this, but, you know. Who knows? I'm just curious uh, if they change anything. I am kind of happy that they are getting their older titles back, which makes me hope, X Legend, if you're watching this or any X Legend employee, um, you know, there could be a chance. That we can get Dragonmon Hunter back. Hopefully. <laughs> That's what I've been want That's what I've been hoping for. If Dragonmon Hunter comes back, I'm going back to that. Cause that was actually a lot of fun. Oh my god, my name's available. Okay, that was Chinese and Japanese. Okay. So what is the sister voice? I'll take that one. I wonder if this still starts off the same. Why oh, doesn't show the video for you guys? That's actually funny. So I guess I'll skip that. <laughs> but it shows this video. Okay then. <laughs> Ah, I remember that mount all too well. This game still does look visually nice, though. I will say that. Now, there are some things that I did like about Twin Saga. 
versus some things about Grand Fantasia that I would love to talk about during this whole thing. And why newer X Legend games are so much more starter friendly. But we'll get to that first in like a few seconds. Um, they did give, a, give us codes that we can enter. I'm not sure if I can do it now, right? Okay, no, I can I can do it now. Okay, so they gave us gift codes that we can actually redeem. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up. I think I still have it somewhere. No, did I close it? I think I closed it. I'll just bring it up on my phone and uh, I'll bring it up so you guys could be able to see it. But they did give us codes, and plus, it was also going through, like, a pre-register as well that I totally forgot to talk about. They're all supposed to be giving out uh, codes from every day from the 10th to the 16th, so keep that in mind as well. I'm pretty sure they also have a Discord as well. Um, Let me go to the website, Astro. Oh yeah, so push gif code redeem. Then you have one code, which is astral two mil because they got two million uh, milestone for register. And there's another code called back. So all these things go to your mail. You won't be able to redeem it until level 20. So it's just, just something to keep in mind. Right, I'm going to close that now. I'm going to skip through a lot of this stuff because I remember most stuff anyway. Oh, well, this stuff goes inside of here. The other stuff goes inside the mailbox, I think. This is something I hate. I hate the default being B. I always change this in every X Legend game. I'm an inventory dude. So we have a mount that we start with. We have blessings. That we have early. That we can use. Oh, they gave us a growth as well. Okay, that's great. Basically our legacy gear. Gotta sort that. We got a seven day that we'll use and got some titles as well. Got a costume that we can also put on as well. Oh yeah, we can't use that until level 20. There's a lot of stuff I remember about this game. Remember that Berserker and Occultists were literally annoying to get that to get our hands on. Ooh, Berserker and Occultists aren't in the game yet. But Ninja is? Wait a minute. That's actually odd. Explosion really does like chibi stuff.
You see, this is the kind of movement that I'm actually like spoiled with. I kind of wish this was for Grand Fantasia as well. No, I'm not gonna lie. I like Grand Fantasia's art style a lot more than her newer stuff. I don't know why. It's always been a occurring thing with me, especially with um, Aurora Kingdom. Aurora Kingdom has a good design to it too, but it just never holds for me. Yep, I remember this all too well. Now I remember him all too well. Isn't he our first summon we get? Oh no, you are. Then we have our little finishing moves too. I always found it funny how goofy their fight scenes were. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to skip through all that. I know what happens. As I, it's for you guys to watch it yourselves. Oh, there is one mask that I really did like in this game as well. I don't know if I can actually like go to it yet. Like, I, I grinded so much for that mask too. It was actually absurd. <laughs> Oh, do we have automatic transmission for a while? Free beginner teleporting. I wonder when that stops. Yeah, I didn't think we would be able to sell that. They normally tell us to keep it. Oh, goddamn. That lag. The hell that come from? No, wait. But what was the point of giving us this battle? This one is a thing. Okay, then. Seems like they changed up their rewards a lot more. This is also another thing. The newer X Legend games are a lot more generous than Grand Fantasia. Like, way more generous.
A lot easier to navigate to. Which is kind of... I don't want to say this because I... I know they probably won't do it right if they ever did. I think they'll try and make it look like, you know, their current games instead of like Grand Fantasia's actual look. But I would love a Grand Fantasia 2. And like a more updated system. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Okay, got that. Part of me wants to get to level 20. Just see what other rewards we, we have uh, in store for us. Everything still seems to fall in line. I think the only thing that's different right now is probably the quests. I do remember this game hitting like a hard grinding phase around like level 40. And then they randomly changed it after a while. I think I might change the warrior soon. Um, out of this, I would say attack speed and damage. At least for early game. Has Ninja always been a thing? Because all I remember is... Is a thief class or assassin class... For like the startings and... Maybe, maybe Ninja was always a thing. It's been a while. Do I still have my old Twin Saga video up? Not sure where I started in that video, but I I might check it out. Uh, so far, it looks like they tackled the main issue that Twin Saga had when on, on their release, which was bots. They had a big issue with bots. It seems like they're slowly countering that. With all their newer games. Well, with all their titles coming back. That enemy we just saw, well, technically didn't fully see, is actually the mask I was talking about. Yeah. These masks. I love these masks. I grinded so freaking much for this cosmetic mask. But I do feel like there's a lot of classes missing. The only thing annoying is... Pretty for sure some of them you have to get through peace drops. Which is how you got Berserker and Occultist. You got to do their dungeons. And had to get lucky. I do wish if I held my right click, my ma my main mouse would disappear. Well, the cursor would disappear. Because that is kind of distracting. 
Electro Devs, if you can keep that in mind. Just to hide the cursor if you're holding right click. Ah, oh, damn. And now I'm like clicking off screen. My bad, hold on. I'm clicking off screen to where I'm touching my other monitor. I don't think it's gonna let me. I can't interact with my taskbar when this game's up. Oh, that's that's weird. Alright, I guess I'll turn it off on my streaming PC. I have an app that makes that lets me travel between my uh, streaming PC and my gaming PC. And my mouse cursor is going off screen. I was saying, ooh, that was, that's some mean lag you got there. Oh, yeah, we still have this system. Right. This attack, right? Yeah, I'm going to pick attack. You don't need crit early game. Thankfully, in this game, as long as you hit the enemy, it counts towards your mission. So you can just tag enemies, technically. Man, I'm sure gonna miss this uh, automatic teleport. <laughs> oh, nice. Stuff I won't use. A certain build I went with Gunslinger. Don't remember what it was. Like pretty much every X Legend game, well, newer X Legend game, everything is uh pretty transition heavy between scenes. Just something you're gonna have to get used to. Honestly, now that I think about it, is there an X Legend game that is? not looking like this newer format other than Grand Foundation. Because all their newer games look exactly 
exactly like this, but just like a different model. Like a uh, dragon. Hold on. Well, Dragon Ball Hunter had like more of a chibi style. This one has more of a half chibi style. And what was it? Aurora Kingdom. Aurora Kingdom had more of, I guess, more of an adult looking size like this dude for characters. Then Eden Eternal had like a chibi style. <laughs> but not as chibi as um, Dragon Ball Hunter. I barely ever use this because it takes forever. Plus, you can also still take damage where you're inside of that ability. Oh yeah, I was supposed to like turn down the audio because it was like very loud. And just like every other X Legend games, you can't change the settings inside of the the server picking screen. And the music always gets aggressive out of nowhere. That's that's another issue. Is that sometimes I don't think X Legend knows what uh volume is. <laughs> Just saying X Legend, sometimes your your game's music is ridiculously loud for no reason. Okay, now I can turn that back to normal. And drag this down just a little bit more. And drag this down so it doesn't just blow your guys' eardrums out. It set my mic back to normal. There we go. In a way, I guess I can say I did kind of miss this game a little bit. Ah, uh, you can still do this. You can still bring up this in the middle of the cutscene. Ah, that that is still loud as shit, Jesus. Holy craps. Yeah, we could just we could just lower that a little bit more, right? Just just quite a bit more. Yeah, around that three. <laughs> if that's still too loud, there's an issue there. This, I hated I always hated this in here and in the working. Collecting these characters. That's something I did not miss. But yeah, we have our support character. Uh, we got our mobile home, apparently. Already. Huh, I don't remember it being that fast, to be honest. Goddamn, that transition's pretty heavy, ain't it? Oh, it went into a cutscene, that's why. Oh, my eyes. Holy shit. <laughs> the game took forever to get that one up. I want you guys to remember that, that my PC is actually extremely good. <laughs> and this is what's going on right now. It just takes a little bit. Then it's done because it's also loading in players too. That's also another thing. You can go ahead and hide those players as well. Make less load in.
Even though I think it's still going to process their people around you. Yeah, you get costumes too. Um... Huh. Yeah, the scout costume isn't too bad, dude. It isn't too bad. I can use this now. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, you can sell this if you want to. Uh, what does it look like? Oh, I'm keeping the glasses. Those are mine. Oh, it doesn't look like you can sell them anyway. This was a... That was a... Wait. Untradeable. Binds on equip. Oh, I guess it binds to that character. So it's untradeable either way. Okay. This is also something I wish... Like I said, I wish Grand Fantasia had were more generous with, like, rewards and stuff like that. Out of all x Legend games, um, I actually think Grand Stage is the more pay to win, for sure. Uh, Twin Saga, I don't remember being, like, very pay to win-ish. Anyway, I think this is, isn't this open beta, technically? So they don't have everything ironed out. I'm gonna turn it to mid just to spare the game. Stop touching me. Perish for your misdeeds. Uh, these are like little secrets. Well, not like little secrets. Uh, little dialogues that you can sit there and read. Then you get like a little um, accomplishment after like watching them. There you go. Oh, they are achievements, secondly. Oh, what the heck? I think it transitioned again. I think that's one thing that bothered me about this game as well, is that the whole scene transition thing was always very annoying after a while. Uh, the green exclamation points, if I remember correctly, are daily daily quests that you can do if you need the extra XP. Three to daily or repeat quests? I think it's daily. I never got to dry out, um... I think Occultus? When it was in, um... Uh, Twin Saga.
think I tried out Berserker. It just cost me uh, all of my gold. Also, there is like a... They, they did this inside of a Eden Turno as well. Um, there is a race to level 50. It's like the first one to level 50. Gets rewards. Well, not the first one to level 50. The first 50 players to level 50 get rewards. As soon as the game launches. I'm sure there's people already there. If they're really that committed. I mean, I'm pretty sure I was amongst those who were... No, I did get rewards because I was inside of that top... Top percentage of players inside of uh, Eden Eternal. Now we're going to keep going speed here. Wait, why did you turn my camera around? Stop this. So as you can see, still even on medium is still gonna have the lag issues. I think it's just because there's so many players on right now, and the servers are dying. <laughs> so I guess it, if anything, this is, you can count this as a stress test. I think this is a hold skill, right? Yeah, spray and pray is a hold skill. I forgot about that. It's also the hold on my fucking game right now. <laughs> oh god. They haven't dropped anything. Okay, so this is like a collect quest I gotta go through. If you could drop my item, please. Okay, there's one. Oh, whoops, I let it go again. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was about to say I'm gonna I'm gonna keep holding it and destroy my PC. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, this is like typical launch behavior from our most MMOs. <laughs> At this point, this is just a straight up stress test. Not eating a lot of RAM, funny enough. It's not eating a lot of RAM at all.
Okay, level 14. It's only been like 40 minutes. Man, this lag is insane. Jesus. I also did pick... Hold on. I did pick direct... X, uh... 11? Is that what they were using? Instead of direct... Direct... 11, uh... Direct... X... 9. I kind of want to restart the game and see... If that could also be... Loosing up frames. <laughs> maybe, maybe it doesn't agree. Okay, it's gonna look weird for for a little bit until I restart the game, change some of the setting. Yeah, I choose direct uh, on eleven. Let's restart that. Oh yeah, it's not gonna show up until like actually gets to the screen. I would save you your your eyeballs. All right, there we go. Was that the issue? Seems fine now. Yeah, don't change to 11, apparently. I think it's unstable. I think it's very unstable. We're gonna see. Oh, yep, it's... It hasn't had any issues so far. So I will definitely say... Hey, what? Oh, I wonder if they balance Paladin. Because Paladin was, like, very survival heavy. Like, you would barely die if you had the right rotation. Like, it didn't deal with damage worth the shit, but it had some very, very good survivability. Like, you could solo some dungeons with it. It looks better without direct as well. I will say that. Well, without uh, direct 11. Okay, there we go. I wonder what the mercenary one looks like. No, oh, we can't see it because uh, this. Okay, if you can get off my screen, thank you. If it had a helmet, it would look a lot better. I like the scout one. So, where is my archive is my question. That's guild. Is 
this archive? No, this is an archive. Oh, they still have stalls? Okay. Huh. I would definitely love to know. Where archives are. Could it be this? No, that looks like PvP, if I remember correctly. What does this legacy gear get up here? Level 40. Okay. So this gear is only get up to 40. Hopefully this archivable too, right? You wouldn't just make this non-archivable, right? Right, game? Can we dress up like bandits? Yep, I remember this all too well. I also want to lower this uh, UI. This UI is way too big. There we go. That's a lot better. Just open it. That's simply how thieves are. As soon as you find something, everybody's like, you know what? Everybody should get a share, even though you found it. I like looking at the little dialogue. But I remember like so much of this right now. So some of the missions are still the same, it's just that it seems updated with new rewards and stuff. since I get in here anyway, so... Where are they? I think I could teleport to him, right? Yeah, they're right here. Ignore having to fight my way through him.
All right. I wish instead of my gun shooting, it would just be this lollipop I have shooting. <laughs> Level 17. Yeah, three more levels into level 20. game can I hit it oh yeah I forgot these these count as one enemy okay I did not shoot that but all right game it's always better to use your uh what would you call them would you call them mean I guess technically you would. It's always better to use your minion special than your own. So you don't get locked inside of an animation that you can get hit inside of. Unless it's for damage reduction, which I think uh, the Paladin has. I think that would be the only time you would really use it. It really depends on what class you're playing. You'll be fine. Here you go. Alright, now we fight the frogs. Attack. Is uh, this our first dungeon? Yep, this is our first dungeon. Um, let me put on. Nah, that's crit. Don't want that. Is this one attack? Okay, yeah, we'll take that one. So you can actually sell these if you're not going to use any of them as well. Uh, some of these also do have skills. Uh, we're gonna take the AOE just for clear. Uh, we'll take which one was this HP? 
Yeah, we'll keep HP. Uh, we actually don't have anything else. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, you can sell these, dismantle them, whichever one. These things are to give your uh, little minions XP. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. So the XP I just got from there, I can bring this up. So let's go do the solo run. There's both solo and party runs. I heard my headphones dying. I gotta plug these up right quick. There we go. Oh, where are my bullets? Okay, I'm not the only one who saw that, right? My bullets just randomly started shooting that way. You can also get stuck in area attacks like that as well if you use that use your finishing move. But like I said, depends on what they do. I mean, you only... When you're inside of the animation, you take 75% less damage while casting it. Plus, you're also immune to debuffs. So I guess the only reason you would actually do it is if you know that debuff is coming up. Keep an eye on your power gauge down here. That's how you know your your finisher is coming up. Here's another thing I like about uh X Legends later games is the trinkets that have like these special abilities you can put on. Ah, oh, that's for red. Ah. Uh. Then you have these equipments you can put on. Uh, I'm probably not going to change this, just because... Well, I could change it, because it seems like Ascended Gear kind of falls off pretty fast. Unless you want to get rid of the um, XP. Right now, XP is important for us, so I'm not going to get rid of it. Now oh, we're going to go fight Alucard. Damn vampires. Yeah! 
All right, level 19. One more level. I think the level cap is 50. So once you get to 50 and get through and catch up on the story, you'll probably have to wait. But you'll probably have plenty of other things to explore and do. Like I said, if you're an achievement hog and you want to go through those little achievements and finding like every last one of them. I mean, they do give rewards, if I remember correctly. Plus, enemies also have different drops you can actually look at here as well. If anything, I would say when you get to level 50, this is the next thing you should worry about. I don't think you could touch 70 yet. I mean, you can tell me I'm wrong if you guys already know. Because it seemed like from what the messages were showing, well, the announcements were showing, it seemed like it was level 50 is what they were making it out to be. So I definitely could be wrong there. Sadly, I can't move and shoot at the same time when it comes to uh, spraying prey. Oh, you, you guys can actually see this video, but you couldn't see the last one. Maybe because of uh, um, direct, direct 11. Oh yeah, I remember collecting these. I think I got all the way up to four of them before I actually, like, just stopped playing. I mean, this is kind of useless for me since I'm not building crit, so that's not something I'll put on. I mean, eh, I might as well put it on. Who knows, maybe I'll get that rare crit opportunity. And this should level me up. There we go. Uh, loyalty tickets are also a thing. I forgot about that. I use blue in the zone. I can use this though. And it gives me uh, keys, which technically are just doors from Grand Fantasia to where you can just access like certain things from far away. So I can, I can access my bank right now from far away without having to go there. Auction house, etc., etc. I'm actually curious of what's going on in Auction House. How are you guys pricing everything? Are you guys being total psychopaths? Okay, it doesn't seem like anybody's being like very psychopathic with their prices. Because that's exactly how this game has died before. It's with psycho <laughs> psychopathic like pricing. Seems like everything's okay. But then again, it seems like everybody's just leveling right now, so nobody's going through, like, you know, going through and selling a whole bunch of stuff at the moment. Okay, okay. Nothing too bad, nothing too bad. You guys are actually behaving. For now. As soon as the auction gets out of hand, a lot of people will just instantly stop playing like last time. But anywho, uh, oh yeah, we have this inside of here. This is our other reward as well.
Oh no, this is just some daily stuff. Never mind. I thought that was for um something totally different. Okay, it doesn't like if there's anything else in here. And now we have Owen. to change to Owen, who come in here. Oh, not Owen. Why, why did Owen come to mind? I guess he just looks like an Owen. Honestly, I liked using him a lot more just because of his speed reduction. What did she have? She had healing. But I also liked using him when I that was melee, though. And this takes us to the Royal City. And that is our beginner quest done. And this is where the actual game begins. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess end it off there. Unless I should just do this first. Because I'm curious if uh, if they'll take away the teleportation as soon as we get this quest done. At level 21 is when we get our actual, like, house. Our little cottage. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of talking in here, right? Or maybe I'm not remembering correctly. But yeah, uh, also if you put in like your other minions too, you can also like use them as long as they're inside of here, you can use them down here. So even if they're not the main one being used, you can still use it. So I can still get that speed down. But yeah, I'm going to end it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, probably the second half of this video instead of the first of lag. Because <laughs> I was sitting here like, oh, that's why I was thinking his name was Owen. That's why. Oh yeah, she just shows you around the village. I know this area way too much because I'm here like very often. Then the auction house was like all the way. Was it over here somewhere? Was there an auction house over here? Huh. But anyway. Yeah. It's a new. See you guys in the next one. Uh, it was good to see this game back in X Legend getting all their um, old titles back. Maybe they'll hold on to it to them this time. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, they did take everything back from um, area games. So I'm curious to see what they do with all of their games, especially Grand Fantasia. And see if they actually get um, Dragon Ball Hunter back as well. 
That's something I'm uh very curious to see. And to then, yeah, I'm gonna end off there. Peace out. to